Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Shadow from Shadow Hunter, and oh my god. If you don't know already, uh, the new season of Mandalorian's out today. Um, it's currently 10.42 in the morning for me on the day, and woke up at half eight excited as ever, and I've left this episode excited as ever for the new season. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, I would recommend you turn off the video. Uh, I'll give you five seconds. Well, spoilers. Um, Boba Fett's back. Uh, we see in the final shot of this episode that Boba Fett is here. Um, the episode overall is an absolute banger. Um, it's an hour long, pretty much, like 52 minutes. The start bit uh, in the arena fight scene. Uh, the figure out Amando is on Tatooine. Um, well, my mind went to instantly uh, Boba because he works with he worked with Jabba the Hutt. My mind just went, oh my god, Boba Fett. Um, Land on Tatooine. He went to place not Mos Espa. I can't remember the place, I'm sorry. It's just a blur for me right now, I'm just too excited. Uh, he meets up with this dude who has Boba Fett's armour, uh, traded it for some crystals uh, with some Jawas. Um, when I saw him walk into uh, Cantina, I instantly knew that was Boba's armour, but I knew it wasn't Boba because I don't think Boba looks like that. Obviously, it wasn't Boba. It was just a plain ass white dude. <laughs> um, we see a, the crate dragon. Um, just that fight over the top and just amazing. Um, Baby Yoda, cute as ever. Mando is top class, and I can't wait to see what he does in episode two. Um, but yeah, um, sorry guys, I haven't really planned this out, I'm just too excited. Um, this is the best Star Wars I've seen from Disney, ever. Like, congrats to John Favreau, man. Fucking smashed it with this episode. Way better than last season's episode one. Um, to all of you saying out there that this is just for fan service, fuck you. Um, honestly, it's just Mandalorian, man. You can't really deny that it's a great episode. And if you can, then you're not really a Star Wars fan. This has everything that you expected. Uh, the trailers pretty much showed like about a quarter of episode one like what was about to happen um, we see the sand people of course uh, being helped by the people of Moss something uh, I can't remember man uh, uh, one second I'll try to remember it for you guys well uh, just for you guys uh, I figured out uh, Moss Pelgo uh, I forgot about it, I'm sorry. Um, this film reminds me a bit of an old western film. Uh, you can see similarities to it when uh, Mando first arrives into Mos Pelgo. You can hear some sort of western music in the background. Um, just a good episode if I'm being honest. Uh, the fight was over the top and very dramatic which I enjoyed. Uh, they could have just killed him with the explosions uh, to his belly, but it didn't. It dragged it on and just balls to wall action, which is what I enjoy. Um, before it died, no, nope, we see another one on top of the mountain. I think it was the same one. And the way they defeated it at the end, I enjoyed a lot. Um, obviously, the dude traded. Uh, the best car armor for 
the Mando's help in killing the Crate Dragon. Um, overall, this episode, uh, if I'm going to rate it for you guys, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. Um, problems with it? Uh, a couple, and I'll explain them to you in a moment. Um, so, one of the problems for me was that it was a bit off. It didn't really suit the story that episode, what that season one told, where we were trying to find his kind again. It loosely stayed on them tracks, but realistically, it was just trying to recreate a Western film. Um, I feel like it should have saved more of the roots of what the season two is meant to do. Uh, it's all on, guys. Um, if I'm being honest, uh, didn't really stay to its roots of uh, season one, as I've told you. Um, it's a bit like episode three and four in Mando, season one. Don't really stay to the purpose of the story, it's just a filler. Um, I don't feel like this episode is a filler episode. I feel like it's a great way to start off. But it has the similar arcs to episode 3 and 4. Just over the top and uh, very dramatic. Um, obviously. I'm trying to think of the word here. It's similar story arcs episode 3 and 4. Just more exploded and just better. Um, not a filler episode by the way. I've said that already. Um, honestly, this episode is just amazing. If I'm being honest, I've been excited for Star Wars since I was probably watching Revenge at Sith for the first time. It's crazy, I know. It's Disney Star Wars has made me excited again for Star Wars with a TV show. It's nuts. I never thought I'd be saying that out of my mouth, but I am. So yeah. Um. Honestly, there's not a lot of bad with this episode. Uh, I'm just rambling, guys. For being honest, <laughs> but honestly, I love this episode. Uh, I'll probably watch it again, and I'll do a proper review. This is just an instant reaction to it. So I'll probably do a review for you guys uh, in the coming weekend. Uh, I'll probably get it released on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, whenever you guys really want to see it. Uh, um, aside from that, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Take care and peace.